you may want to stick to water this thirsty Thursday. A group of the country's top cancer doctors are taking an unprecedented stance against alcohol, saying that its ties to cancer simply make it too much of a risk to public health, according to a warning published Tuesday in the Journal of Clinical Oncology. The doctors aren't advocating for a return to prohibition, but they are encouraging people to drink significantly less. It's the first time this group, the American Society of Clinical Oncology, ASCO, has ever spoken out so plainly against drinking. The tipping point for tipple is lower than you might think, they explain, even less than a drink a day could up your risk of cancer, and prolonged heavy use is especially dangerous, according to the statement. Their report rounds up significant research tying alcohol to several types of cancer. For example, Scientists have found that even moderate amounts of alcohol can slightly increase a woman's chance of getting breast cancer by 5 to 9 percent. Other types of cancer that have convincing links to alcohol consumption include liver, pharynx, larynx, esophagus, colorectum and many of the kinds that spread in the oral cavity, according to research ASCO cited from the International Agency for Research on Cancer. Further research suggests that alcohol may up a person's risk for pancreatic and gastric cancer. One study ASCO cites even found that found that 5.8% of all cancer deaths in the world in 2012 could be attributed to alcohol. The group's warning comes at a time when alcohol consumption is on the rise. In September, a study published in JAMA reported that high-risk drinking four or more drinks a day for women, five or more for men has rocketed up by about 30% over the past decade. Moderate drinking less than one drink a day for women, and less than two for men also rose by 11% from 2002 to 2013. So doctors worry that a rise in cancer occurrences may follow. What you drink doesn't make a difference either, according to the ASCO, the risks are the same whether people are drinking wine, beer, or spirits. And, Yes, that goes for so-called heart-healthy red wine drinkers, two reports on Vino's health benefits may be overstated, the doctors say.